In this video, we're going to talk about ions. So what's an ion? An ion is an atom that has gained or lost one or more electrons and has a net charge. There are two types of ions. We have a cation, which has a positive charge, and we have an anion, which has a negative charge. So forgive my chemistry humor here, but an easy way to remember which one's which is a cation is positive. Cations are positive. Think about cats, right? Cats have paws, they're positive. I'm trying. So a cation is an ion with a positive charge. In order to have a positive charge, you're going to lose electrons. So remember, those electrons have negative charges. Okay, so they have negative charges. So like, here's an example. So let's say I had three negative charges, three positive charges. If I were to lose a negative charge, I lost an electron. Now there are more protons than there are electrons. So therefore the positive side would win. So cations are positive because they're losing electrons. Anions are the opposite. So they're going to gain electrons. So uh, here's another example. So I have three electrons. I have three protons. So if I gain another electron, so if now I have four electrons, now the electrons are going to win in this case because there are more of them. All right. Okay. So how do we determine the charge? We're essentially just going to look at the difference between the protons and electrons. So again, an anion is negative because it has more electrons than protons. A cation is positive because it has more protons than electrons. So let's do an example. So we have an ion. It has 17 protons and 18 electrons. Determine the charge. So in this case, there are more electrons than protons, and there's one more electron than proton. So therefore, the charge is going to be negative one. We have one more electron than protons, so therefore our charge will be negative one. One is how much more, how many more electrons we have than protons, and the negative is the charge that wins. So there's more negative charge than positive charge. All right, let's look at another example. So it says an ion has 12 protons and 10 electrons. So we've actually, this is the first row of our table here. So if we have 12 electrons and 10 protons, there are more protons than electrons. So we're going to have two. And since there's more positive than negative, our charge will be positive. So there's a difference of two. There's more protons. So our charge is going to be positive. The next line, we know the charge is negative one. So that means there's one more electron. And if we have 10 electrons, that means we have to have nine protons. So again, there's a difference of one. That's where the one comes from. And then since I know it's negative, that means that there have to be more electrons than protons. In the final line here, we know there are eight protons and we have a charge of negative two. So that means that we need to have two more electrons than protons. So in this case, our electrons are also going to be 10. There's a difference of two. That's where the two comes from. And then since there are more electrons than protons, we will have a negative charge. All right, let's talk about notation in terms of charge. So we already know that the 16 right here tells us that we have 16 protons. We also know that this mass number, 32, is equal to the number of protons and neutrons. So we are also going to have 16 neutrons because 16 plus 16 gives us 32. Now, up here on the upper right-hand corner, we have a charge of negative 2. So that means there are two more electrons than protons. So since we have 16 protons, that means we need 18 electrons. 
All right, let's look at one last example. So in this case, very similar to the previous one, we know that we have 19 protons because our atomic number is 19. 39 is the mass number. So that's the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So 19 plus 20 would give us 39. And then finally, we have a plus, just a plus here. So if there is just a plus, we assume that this is just a plus one. So if we had a positive one charge, that means there's a difference of one between the protons and electrons. And because it's positive, that means there's one more proton than electron. So we would have 18 electrons in this case because there's a difference of one and there are, there's going to be one more proton than electron. This one was kind of tricky. And that, in a nutshell, is ions.